Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gold Luster demo. Um, I am going to talk about um, applying Gold Luster with uh, adhesive size. And we have the size, which is basically the glue. And then we also have a sealer, which you apply afterwards to kind of protect this, the Gold Luster. So this is a a brand that I bought, the Bona Lisa, but there are lots of different brands out there. Um, if you buy the expensive 22 karat gold luster, then um, you don't have to seal it, but otherwise it could tarnish and uh, once you apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about applying the size. And um, generally you just need a small brush and it doesn't take very much to uh, put it on. Soft brush is pretty good. I usually shake up the size. Whoops, that's a sealer. The size. And then I paint it on to where I want the gold leaf to be. So you can see that I've already put some gold leaf on this one. This is kind of my example. Um, but I'm just going to paint it on to some different areas so you can see how I did it here. And then I'll I've got my cooking show style on the other side where I already applied the size, so hopefully that will work out well. And so it's a little bit milky when you put it on. And so if you just paint where you want it to be, and then you've got to let it set up. And so it kind of, you, the milkiness will go away and then um, it will kind of create a, ta a tacky feeling. So if you put the size, uh, the leaf on when you have the size still wet, it doesn't do a very good job. So I know it's really hard to be patient when you want to put this on because I put on the side on the gold leaf when the size is wet. So I can tell you from experience that it definitely doesn't work very well. So your patience is worth it. Um, I usually wait at least an hour before I apply the gold leaf. Um, so I'll let that set up. And then on the other side, I've already applied the size and let it dry. So we'll let that happen. I'm gonna prop this up on something here so that it doesn't get into the table there. And there are tons of uh, informational videos on this online. There's a lot of people applying gold leaf to uh, automobiles, motorcycles, all sorts of things. Those are kind of interesting demos. They're doing like pinstriping with that. Um, lots of people doing it on paintings too. So if you if you do any painting, um, that's a great thing. So they come in these sheets, um, or you can buy them in flake as well. So these are like my little scraps that I keep because sometimes you just need a little bit. And then if you go back here, you can see they come in whole sheets. So it's very flimsy. It's like um, a tissue paper, but really thin, okay? So that's what you're looking at for each sheet, and you can kind of see how thin this is. Like if you touch it, basically it wants to tear. So generally that's not too much of a problem. And then I've got these spots that I've already done. So if you want to check and see if the size is kind of tacky, I just kind of use the back of my finger. Um, you don't want to pick up the size and put it on your finger. Um, so and we'll put this down on there. People do it with the paper as well. Um, slide it off with the paper, but I'm just going to do it this way because I don't have very much on there. And then you find a soft brush and you just kind of gently encourage that to go where the size is. So you can kind of see where it's starting to catch. So there's one there, you can see. There's one here. Let's see, I know there's some other ones. Let's see where they are. Now this size I let dry overnight, so we'll see what kind of success we have here. Okay. 
And some people use like a cotton ball to burn your stuff down. You can do that too. And so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of start to knock some of this off and see how they came out. And then if you have larger pieces, I'll keep them because I just, I don't always need full sheets. There's another one. But this stuff kind of will go everywhere. It's kind of messy and a little bit fussy. Um, if, you, if they don't take where you put all the size down, you can always do it again. Um, it's fairly easy to also scrape off, which is nice. So you can clean it up if you're not happy and then start over. So you're kind of starting to see where I painted those little circles yesterday or an hour ago, depending on your patience. I'd say at least an hour. If it's cold, maybe longer. Um, but it should still be tacky even this was overnight. So if you have to go away, just make sure to cover it up so some dust doesn't get in there. But you can see how wispy this stuff is. Okay. Messy. So I put down paper towel to work on here. Um, newspaper would work. Uh, it didn't look very good for the video, so I didn't use newspaper, but that's probably what I would use. Makes it easier to clean up too, so you can just wipe it off and then throw it away that way. Okay, so you can see that they're sticking on there pretty well. And then sometimes it's your size got a little bit further than you were anticipating. Um, sometimes the brush is a little, got more, more on it than you expected and it kind of bleeds over. So you can also sort of push this with your nail or with a tool back into the space. So it allows you to define it a little bit. And then if I need to add more, I can put some more on, but you can see you can kind of clean up these edges fairly easy. It's like the size is still kind of tacky at this point. Um, and so that you can define the edges a little bit more. Hopefully you can see with my hand in the way there. Um, but that's it. So that's what I did on this side, right? These are all, these have all been applied. And you can see that that's still drying out there. It's still very milky. So that's going to take a while before that can dry out. Um, and so if you want to seal it, um, you can use the uh, sealer, which um, you should be able to do right away. And most gold leafing little uh, packets come with some sort of sealer, so um, it's up to you if you want to seal it. Sometimes uh, tarnish can be all right. So then the sealer you just paint on, directly onto the area. And it doesn't really look much different kind of locks it in. Okay. So that's going to be sealed in there. A couple coats usually is pretty good. So that's the sealer. And I always keep a little bit of water with me here. Um, also keep in mind with the gold leaf that um, it will take the texture of what you're using um, so I did these little balls, um, same application process, um, and put gold leaf on them. So you can see here that the, the bumpiness of this ball is also gonna show. So some people will sand things if they want it super smooth. Um, I didn't really care, but this is I, the same ac application process. Um, I applied the size, I let it set up, and then I put the gold leaf on there. So it seemed to work pretty well. It's on there pretty well. I also put some sealant on this as well. So you can see on one side I did and one side I didn't, and they didn't. This is the side I didn't, this is the side I did. It's a little bit sharp, uh, shinier, but not too much of a difference. Um, this one, I applied a layer of um, gel. So uh, just a medium from, from painting, 
to seal the surface. And then I applied the size. And so I believe this one should be good to go too. Let's see if this will work on here. We can get some into those little crevices, that texture on there. So you can see like the bumpiness of that really picks it up. It's kind of interesting. There. So that's with the um, gel first, let that dry and then put the size on there. So that works as well. Um, the, the gel is like sealing the surface. I didn't find it to be too porous, but the, um, some people do. So I can seal it first and then put this on. And there are uh, lots of interesting gilding, uh, people doing windows, um, like glass windows gilded. I know one of the instructors at school, Dixon, did a gilded window. Um, so you can paint this onto glass as well as lots of different other surfaces, metal, um, ceramic obviously is what we're doing, um, but there's lots of different places where you can put gold leaf and then, so yeah, that seems to be working pretty well. So this is the one with the, the medium. So you could use matte medium or gel medium or kind of any other medium you've got going in there. Um, but that. That's pretty nice. This is the same concept over here. Let's see if the size is still still happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's put it on this texture. work just fine too. So I think that there's a lot of approaches to this, especially with clay. Um, but I think that uh, either sealing it or not would be just fine. Okay, so that is the gel. Um, yeah, this one is just the size and this one is the one with the gel. So, okay. So, and then the other thing I have that um, can be useful if you don't have access to uh, gold leaf or the patience for it um, is to use um, gold pens. So you can do that. And I'm going to pause this so this isn't super long and then I'll start another one. <laughs> 